This here is my rental 2017 Nissan Altima. This is just a walk around. There's a quick view on the inside. Basic car, nothing special. Excuse the mess. Standard Altima, no sun roof, not special. Standard <coughs> backup camera. Standard key fobs. Nissan needs to upgrade these. You could uh lock from here and unlock from here. Or you could use a standard remote. Locking from the door is less quiet. I mean it's more quiet, less noise. Over here you have the standard. trunk and then gas and hood interesting place for him sorry for the glare I don't understand what's going on but uh, yeah foot on the brake copy right now standard controls for radio control that from here obvious up for the next down for to go back a track and then uh, volume up Volume down, back, over here is uh, for the phone, which controls the phone and the cruise control. Please say a command after the beep. Available commands are call, phone book, recent calls, messaging, or select phone. Pretty standard. It's a nice car. It runs good. It's not bad on gas. I drove from a uh, full tank of gas. I drove from Jersey to Connecticut. And uh, from Connecticut to down Danbury, back up to Springfield, Mass. And I still got a half a tank. So it's not bad on gas. It's pretty decent for an Altima. Gas tank on the left hand side. Standard trunk space, nothing special. Let's see what's underneath this hood here. The hood latch. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's right about there's a Nissan sign right here. That's a hood latch. That's kind of old school. 
And for 2017, it should have been hydraulics. CVT transmission has a good torque and takeoff. Heat shield on the muffler. Standard, I guess, engine cover. Not bad, not bad. I like this though, battery over here, better than in the trunk or underneath the back seat like some high-end Mercedes. It's just really stupid. Keep it simple. Let's uh, hop in here and get a little rev. blows really cold which I love it's for them hot days it really doesn't have low it doesn't have semi-automatic it's just basic park reverse neutral drive that's about it nothing special kind of stupid I wish you could have went over and drive it like a semi-automatic might have some paddle shifters but the basic Ultima nothing special no hydraulic